Hi guys, I'm Lacey Elizabeth and on this episode of Beauty Battle, we are going to be doing a face off with La Mer. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it and we're going to pair it with, of course, the Sephora foundation. So on one half of my face, I have La Mer. On the other half of my face, I have Sephora. So if you want to see how I put these two products to the test, keep watching. Hey guys, I've got such exciting news. I'm going to be doing my first giveaway. Yes, one of many on this channel. Today, we are going to be giving away my favorite brand, The Ordinary, not sponsored. I just love the product, so I went to Sephora, I picked up some products for you guys, and I'm so excited because I'm gonna give those to you guys. One lucky subscriber is gonna go home with tons of Ordinary. Stay tuned, I'm gonna give you more information about it later on in this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and hit that like button and subscribe. Okay guys, so basically I just got out of the shower not that long ago. I went in and I moisturized my face like I always do and to do that I actually use Ordinary products. So I use this right here which is the hyaluronic acid from Ordinary and I will go in one squeeze on my fingertips and I just go in and I moisturize the face. After I let that sit for about mm, five, six, seven minutes, I will go in with the natural moisturizing factors plus HA from the ordinary, a good, good pea-sized amount. I rub that on and I go in and I moisturize. So I've already done that for you guys. I've also gone in and I have applied my primer to prime today. I used this one right here, which is the Tatcha Water Cream. So I used that one, which is an amazing product and I love this. So I just went in, I applied just a little bit, good pea-sized amount and warm it up to my fingertips and I put that all over my face. Love that product. Then I go in right here with the Tatcha Silk Canvas and I'll go in, I will apply that to my nose. Make sure I get that in the my nose creases right here. I'll go right in under my eye and I'll fill in any of these under eye. We're gonna call them creases. They're not lines, they are little creases. And we are going in, I'm putting a little bit on my chin right here, and then I'll take anything I have left over, any product I have left over, and I just kind of smooth right across the forehead right here. I don't have lines, but I feel like, you know, when we laugh and we smile, we are gonna get those lines. I don't want that. We're good, you know? Yeah, I'm not about that right now. It's not happening. This fixes that. I love this. Love Tatcha products, all of them. <laughs> all right, so now that I've done all of my base and prep work, let's go in with that foundation. I'm so excited to try that La Mer. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting my foundation on my MAC palette, which is this metal palette right here. So I'm gonna put that right there and I've got my two foundations. I've already unboxed this. This has a really cute little pump. I'm going to go in. Okay, that's liquidy. That is very liquidy. I mean, it says it's a fluid foundation. I usually use three pumps for my entire face with my Ride or Die Love It Dior foundation. So with my Dior foundation, I'll use the three pumps. This one, we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's La Mer, right? Like I don't want to use too much because 155 before tax is a lot of coin. It's La Mer and I want to be able to say, I have La Mer on my face because, right? Who wouldn't? But at the same time, I mean, it has to be like, the best foundation in the whole world. Like it has to erase me. It has to give me like a new face. I need a new wardrobe. I need like everything. Like it needs to like give me that new car vibe. Like I need that whole thing, right? That's what that foundation has to do for me to be able to like say like, that's the one I need every month. Do you know what I'm saying, right? Right, is everyone with me? Comment down below. Love you guys. Okay, so I've pumped three. 
pumps a foundation on my palette. Okay, just look at that go. That is runny. That is so runny. Can you guys see that? It is running down my palette. So that is very fluid. I mean, it says it's fluid. That is, that is runny. That is very, very runny. Okay. Okay. You know, we're going to put it to the test, right? So definitely does say it is a fluid foundation. It is called the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. So definitely it's right on the front of the bottle. So I don't know why I was expecting something that would just stick. But it's runny. So is it going to give me the full coverage that I need, that I want, that I desire? Like it has to like give me that life that I'm like... I'm hoping that it will, you know? That's what I want. That's what I need in life. I will let you guys know. All right, to do this wear test, I'm going to take two beauty blenders. So I've got the pink one, I've got the black one. They're both totally clean. So I thought I would probably use the pink one for the La Mer and the black one for the one with the black lid, which is the Sephora foundation. So it's a good way to tell it apart. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to pick up some of this product. I'm going to go on this side of my face. <laughs> now we're going to get in there. Get in there and do this. Okay, so first impressions. It's going on, it's gliding on. It spreads really good. Is it canceling me? Oops. I need to like spread it a little bit more. Okay. I'm only doing the one side, remember that. So I'm gonna go, I always take the rest and I'll go over my eye. I'm just gonna pick up the rest of the foundation. So I did do three pumps. And I'm just gonna go in. It's very soft. I'm getting soft vibes from it, but I do like that. I mean, you don't want it to look like you have that mask of beauty on, right? It's not giving me that vibe at all. I'm just putting a little bit on my lid. I'm gonna go in, make sure I'm getting my hairline. Here's the thing. With my Dior foundation, I use three pumps and it covers my whole face. Okay, my whole face. This was three pumps of $155 foundation and it is literally just doing half of my face. So you're not getting the same spread as you would in other foundations, which isn't horrible, but you just have to keep in mind, it'll probably take five pumps to do your whole face, I'm assuming. But three pumps definitely did half my face. I do like it, considering I have no makeup on this side of my face. It's giving me soft, romantic vibes. Considering this is the side of my face that has the blue vein, because I have very translucent under eyes. Like, I have very translucent pale skin. But my under eyes, like, if you can see here, like, I've got these dark circles. On this one, I have that vein that you can see, which I hate. But, I mean, I've got these translucent pale, I've got translucent pale skin, so what can you do? And it's covering that quite nicely, considering all I did was go in with a little bit of foundation. So I kind of like that. It's giving me, the more it dries down, it's giving me more of a fuller coverage, but it's still like just a medium coverage. Like, don't get me wrong. It's just a soft, really nice, almost dewy if I look in the mirror, but not dewy finish. And I kind of like it. It is very soft, considering I have no powder on or anything. I don't look 
tapping marks on my face, so I'm just gonna blend that out. But it is really, really soft. It doesn't feel tacky, it doesn't feel sticky. I think I could wear this without powder. Obviously it wouldn't be set, I wouldn't go and wear it without powder, without a mask, but you could, I think, liking this so far. Okay, I'm excited. But definitely, I'm gonna go in now and do the other side of my face with the Sephora foundation. I'm excited for this one. So, I'm gonna actually flip over my palette and I'm gonna prime this. Okay, so one. Okay, so you get a lot in a pump. So two. I'm actually just gonna use two pumps because that is a lot of product. So we'll use two pumps to start off with and then if we need more, you know, we just use a little bit more. I'm gonna take my clean black beauty blender and I'm going in. That is thick. Obviously it's not running. I mean, I've already dunked in, right? But like that is thick, that's not running. So I enjoy that thicker aspect. But I mean, I am, that is so pretty. It matches my skin tone impeccably. You know, La Mer, you're killing it. Oof, okay. <laughs> so let's go in and blend this out. I am so excited for this comparison. So far, I am feeling like this is a little bit yellow for me. Well, I, that's why we're here. Oof, that is pulling some yellow undertones. What color did I get again? Linen? Yeah, I got the color linen, which does have a Y on it, so it does pull a little bit yellow. Just doing a little bit over my lid, which I always do. And then I'm coming up here, doing the other half of my forehead. Okay, so, so far, it's giving me a more yellow pigment, but obviously it has a yellow undertone when this one, does it tell me the undertone here? No, it just says porcelain 01. I feel like I look so strange right now. <laughs> No, seriously, I like, okay, let's just go in with the rest of the foundation. Like this on its own gives me good vibes except for the color is not my color. I would not pick one with a yellow undertone for my skin tone, but it's good. I like it so far. And I, again, I haven't said anything. This is giving me flawless natural. This is also giving me flawless, but like a little bit more, a little bit more coverage, I guess. But this is giving me flawless natural. What do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys see a difference? Can you tell a difference? I haven't powdered yet. I haven't concealed yet. But can you guys tell a difference? I want to know if you guys can see a difference. Can you guys see a difference before I powder or conceal? Like this is giving me, this is the Sephora side. This is definitely giving me more of a yellow undertone, which I'm not all that impressed with. I would definitely go in with a different shade if I had it, which I don't, but this is giving me more of a full coverage than the La Mer side, but the La Mer side is giving me very, very 
soft, glam, very natural. Like, I'm living for her. I like her. This is giving me super glam too. I love the Sephora side. I don't know. Okay, let me go in and conceal and we'll talk about it. Okay, so far, I love what I see on both sides. It's not patchy, it's not skipping. Okay, that's the first concealer. That really just like erases and cancels. I'm still not living for the yellow cast I'm getting from the Sephora side, but I'm trying to look past that and I'm looking at just the foundation. This one right here, which is the La Mer side, it's giving me, like, I need a little bit more so far. But let's, let's go in with our Too Faced concealer, which I absolutely love. So I just use like a pea-sized amount. I do not use a lot of this. I'm just going in with my same beauty sponge and I'm just tapping under my eyes because that's where I want to be completely canceled, completely erased. So I just went in with that concealer and I'm just tapping under the eyes, tap that out. Okay, so far, and I'm trying not to look at this like awful yellow cast that I'm getting on this side right here compared to this side. I love the La Mer side. I love what it's doing for me right here. Like I'm like really, really, really loving how soft and natural and porcelain-like I look. Like hands down, loving that. This side's also giving me that same vibe, just with a little bit more coverage. I'm now going to go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer, which is the one I always use. Just a tiny pea-sized amount of that primer. Same beauty sponge. I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick up half of that primer. And I'm just tapping that on my lids. I take any leftover and I go under the eye. This is how I do my makeup every day. <laughs> okay. All right. I like that. Okay, so now I've got to use setting powder to set this beat. I think I'm going to go in and use these two new powders, the Laura Mercier Glow version and this Veil by Hourglass. I'm gonna go in and use these two powders because I'm living for these all week long. Two weeks now? Two weeks? Two weeks. I have not stopped using these and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to go in with these powders today to set my face. Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. I'm picking up some product. I've got product. I'm just tapping under my eyes. I also have to mention, I've been talking for like seven minutes since I applied the foundation in real time. And literally, I have no creasing. Yeah, I have absolutely no creasing on the La Mer side, which is like amazing. But for 155 coin, I expect that I do. Okay, so I'm going in and I'm literally just tapping that under eye. I always tap my nose. I'm going in and I'm grabbing a little bit more of this Veil Hourglass Powder. The only thing I don't like about this large jar, I do enjoy this part of the jar. I don't like how the lid has this kind of so the powder won't come out. I do enjoy that so it doesn't get everywhere, but tapping into it is like a pain. I love it, I love it. I just don't like the lid design. Everything else is fine. Again, I'm just tapping on my under eyes, that powder. And on my nose. 
I go down and I beat that powder onto my creases. The reason I actually beat the powder down here as well is because we're in a post-COVID world and I'm wearing a mask a lot of the times. So not that I'm leaving my house today, I'm really not, not wearing two different foundations, but in reality, I'm going to be, you know, beating that powder on here because I want it to bake a little bit more so it stays in place. But again, I'm going to do a mask wearing makeup video for you guys. Stay tuned for that definitely in the upcoming week. I'm now going to take my Makeup by Mario powder brush. I'm going to go in. I'm going to take that veil by Hourglass. We're just getting that powder all over that brush. I'm tapping it off. I'm like literally just going to do light circles all over the face. So now that I have the powder pretty much on, I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys like the La Mer side or do you guys like this Sephora side? Tell me in the comments down below. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm taking that same powder brush I'm dipping into my Laura Mercier Glow powder. I'm going under my eye right here. See how that just brightens? I'm literally putting a small bit of that all over the face. I'm just dipping in once and putting it everywhere. That's pretty, right? That just like makes everything so pretty. Okay guys, so now that I have my powder on, tell me, which one do you like? Do you like the La Mer side? Do you like the Sephora side? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put my brows on, I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back, I've got my makeup on. I literally went in, did a full beat. The only thing I didn't do was lashes because, well, I want the focus to be on the foundation for the wear test, so that's the only thing I basically left out. For my setting spray, I went in with the Veil by Hourglass. I'm living for this. I love, love, love Hourglass. Sweetie, mm, you're doing it, I love it, you're killing it, you're rocking all these products, and I love, love, love all of them. So I went in with that one, and literally, you guys tell me, which one do you guys like? I am living for this La Mer. It's giving me soft, amazing, porcelain glam. Like, she's got no makeup on. Like, she looks good, right? I like that. And then this side, the Sephora side, this one was $26, I believe, before tax. Like, this one's giving me all that and more. Like, I... I love both of them. This one is flawless, beautiful, stunning. This one, even though this is giving me that yellow undercast, I'm kind of living for it. Like this one's almost a shade too pale for me compared to this one. I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking the life I'm getting this up for the, just around here where it's giving that yellow undercast. I do not like that, but like this one is a perfect match for my skin. Like, perfect, right? It's like seamless. But this one is giving me all that and more. I, I don't know, guys. Like, tell me. Write it in the comments down below. I want to know what you guys think. Okay, guys, it's the end of the video. So you stuck with me to the end. I have something exciting to tell you. I'm so, so excited about this. I am doing a giveaway. It is my first giveaway on this channel. So it's one of many to come. I'm so excited. All you need to do to enter the contest is subscribe to my channel right there and follow me on Instagram right there. <laughs> and like this video and comment down below and I will pick a winner at the end of September. Bye guys, live, love, and look lost.